Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be making the poop loop right here, part of the color, to hold the bag of doggy do as uh, you're walking. So let's go ahead and jump into the lesson. We'll just open up the previous lesson and let's go ahead and save it as, we'll just call it draft nine. We'll save as. All right, so first thing, we're just going to put a cylinder right here at the base of the neck uh, nut right there. So let's just twiddle these up, kind of organize it a little bit. And we're going to be using you know, putting it on this part right here. So just shift right click on the area here and that'll get us kind of in the ballpark. We're pretty close. Uh, we can even go to view and then just zero out that X location and then that will center up our 3D cursor right there. And next we can make a torus. So to make sure you're in object mode and do shift A and do a torus. But one thing we need to know is, you know, how big do we need to make this poop loop? So I'm gonna go ahead and measure a bag. I'm just gonna tie a knot in one of the poop bags and then get a measurement for the, the little knot that appears at the top of the bag. So I'm gonna pause the recording. Hello everyone. So to get our measurements for our poop bag, I just put my wallet inside of a um, poop bag and just tied it off, you know, just like you would. And sometimes you have to do things like this if you are making up a new product, you may have to, you know, measure things from the real world from time to time. So all we will do is take our calipers and just slide it underneath the knot here and kind of get it to the size where it can, you know, it's not going to fall out. So I'm just kind of jiggling it here. And that's about five millimeters. So that's what we're going to add in Blender. So let's go ahead and jump back into Blender and add this into our design. All right, so now we're back in Blender. So I'm just gonna delete the one we had. Let's actually add in something that can kind of represent our baggy knot. So let's go into our objects collection and do shift A, and we can just do a new UV sphere, and the radius can be five divided by two, and that's gonna give us the radius. So that is the size of our knot there. And we'll do G and Z and G and Y, and just bring it out just a little bit. And that's gonna represent kind of our little knot there. And we can even rename it and call it our knot. <laughs> and we can just use that as kind of sizing reference. So now that we've got our knot here, we can bring in a torus. So just make sure you're in your flexible design. Do shift A and we're going to add a torus. And right now you can kind of see it's kind of in the middle where our 3D cursor is so we can offset the Y. Just kind of bring it out so it sticks out kind of like a dog tag. And we wanna mess with the major radius. So maybe somewhere, maybe like 3.5 for that. And then you can play with the, you know, the thickness here. So we can do something, maybe even like, you know, something like that. And may even bring it down a little bit so near the bottom. So there we go. So that should fit our knot very nicely. And let's go ahead and click to accept that. And we can just call that the poop loop right there. And we're going to add this to our neck nut. So easy way, you know, just go ahead and drag that into our collection there. And we can click on the poop loop and shift click and add it to, notice I've actually got the dog head. We need to click the wireframe here, which is the actual nut. Um, so click there, shift click on the wireframe. You can see the two layers selected here and we'll do Control plus, and then we'll add these objects together. And there we go, so now everything's nestled together. And that's looking pretty good. So one thing that we can do is we want the, you know, kind of the, the box that we added right here, that's kind of cutting off the bottom of our neck nut. We want that to cut off some of our, our little poop loop here. So with that box selected, we can go into tab, Take it into edit mode and we'll just select the face and then go into face select and we'll just select that one face right here and just take our move tool or even our selection tool and then just do G and Y and get it just to move out just a little bit like that. So I know, I'm noticing that the software is running a little slow so I'm gonna go back into object mode and let's click on the dog and turn our multi-res down to maybe one. 
maybe even two. And then we can take our box select, take our box select here, or, you know, our Boolean cube and go into edit mode and do G and Y. There we go. What you want to do is just get the, the cube to come and cover, you know, our little poop loop here. And back in object mode, I may even crank this back down to one. Just really just take some of the load off of the computer here. Now that we've extended our little block here, we can actually go into our neck nut and just rearrange so the poop loop is first. And then the cube cuts a little bit of the poop loop as well. So notice as we rearrange those, then we'll get a nice, you know, cut off the bottom here. And another cool thing we can do is add a cube um, to kind of make a little opening right here. So we still have our 3D cursor here. Uh, we're in our nut and bolt collection and do shift A and we're gonna add a little cube and maybe somewhere, just kind of scale it up till it kind of takes a piece, maybe like eight. And we can always make it smaller if we need. And we'll do G and X and just bring that over to the side here and with the cube selected, we can shift click on the wireframe of our poop loop. That's very important. So make sure you get the wireframe and then do control minus. And that will subtract in real time, a little piece of our torus there. And while we still have these selected, you can do control P and that will parent those together. So now if we move our poop loop wireframe, G and Y, we can kind of nestle that in a little further into our design there, as far as you want, even like that. So, you know, just to give us a little bit of room to bring in our, you know, our baggie. And I may pull that out just a little bit, so G and Y. And so that's looking pretty good. We just want enough space where our bag can kind of slip in there. We may even drop it down a little bit further. So G and Y, and just kind of close that gap a little bit more, just so it holds on to our poop bag there. That looks pretty good. And you can do, you know, use your best judgment, but we have a little little gap there. We've got a nice flat bottom. Yep. Yeah. so now, uh, you know, we don't really need this anymore, so you can delete that or just hide it if you want. So we'll take our objects and just turn our knot off. And so now we know the knot will fit right there, nice and snug in our little uh, poop loop collar. And we can also 3D print it really easily because it's just gonna be a nice flat bottom uh, for our 3D printer bed. So that is an easy way to add a little poop loop to your designs here. And we can even parent our poop loop to the nut here. You can do it uh, just by holding the poop loop, click and drag, hold shift and drop to set the parent there. So now everything's nested all inside of the nut and we've got a little poop loop. Now we can go to our dog head, maybe crank our our viewport, our little level viewport on the multi-res, maybe back up to two, just to give us some resolution. And that's looking pretty good. So now we've got this tiny little poop loop, uh, kind of like his little dog collar. Uh, so it's very functional and uh, very adorable. And most importantly, easy to print. Next, we're going to add a few little spikes or spindles for uh, the poop roll to be kind of suspended around uh, inside of our dog product here. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson.